Laura Jordan Bambach, Creative Superpowers, Equip Yourself for the Age of Creativity. Are you ready to delve into the world of creative thinking? In Creative Superpowers, Equip Yourself for the Age of Creativity by Laura Jordan Bambach, we explore various methods that will help you harness your creativity and innovation skills. This book summary emphasizes how creativity transcends mere knowledge accumulation and shows that working collaboratively can foster an innovative spirit. Be prepared for insights on letting go of your possessive tendencies, embracing core values like love and respect, the importance of mental relaxation, and the power of being present in the world. Cultivating Collective Creativity Rather than prioritizing the accumulation of knowledge, creativity thrives through active listening, keen observation, and collaboration. Connecting with others and bouncing ideas off them can lead to breakthroughs, especially when individuals are not confined by preconceived notions about the subject matter. By embracing such a sandbox model of creativity, innovative solutions can emerge from the collective synergy of a team, as demonstrated by the disruption caused by Uber. Forget the notion that memorizing facts automatically sets one up for success. Instead, foster your creativity by attentively listening to others, identifying what resonates with you, and trusting your innovative instincts. Creativity isn't enhanced by hoarding knowledge, in fact, accumulating vast amounts of information may even hamper your creative potential. This is because knowing too much about a subject can constrain your thinking and limit your perspectives. Take, for instance, the taxi industry. For years, traditional taxi companies mulled over transforming their business. However, the most groundbreaking shift came from Uber, an outsider unshackled by conventional thoughts about taxi services. This fresh approach enabled Uber to think beyond limitations, giving birth to a novel service offering. Another essential aspect of creativity arises from finding someone to exchange ideas with. Two minds are generally better than one, which is why choosing the right collaboration partner is crucial. If you require a video for your new website, team up with a talented video artist and let the brainstorming begin. Leverage each other's strengths to achieve success. Most of the time, you'll discover that working with others fosters more creativity. This concept is known as the sandbox model of creativity. Picture children playing together in a sandbox, where innovative ideas spring forth during interactions. One child starts digging at one end of a sand mound, another mirrors their actions on the opposite end, and suddenly, a tunnel emerges. This is a prime example of how creativity blossoms when working in a team setting. Embrace simplicity, unleash creativity. Our most treasured creations can often make us unwilling to let go, but sometimes it's best to simplify and remove non-essential elements for greater success. Give yourself time to relax and let the mind wander, as inspiration often comes at unexpected moments. Everyone has prized possessions, especially when it comes to creations, after all, they're an extension of ourselves. However, holding on too tightly to these ideas can be counterproductive. Striving for better results often involves simplifying and refining our work. Creative thinking thrives on generating fresh solutions, which in turn requires the willingness to dispose of ideas that don't quite hit the mark. This process can be compared to clearing a cluttered cupboard, to bring in new items, you must also let go of the old ones. Take, for example, the creative team responsible for the 2016 ad, Xylophone in the Forest, commissioned by cell phone provider Docomo. The spot showcased a wooden xylophone suspended on a picturesque hillside that played the notes of a famous Bach composition when a ball rolled down its 44 meters. Initially, the group of Japanese artists envisioned a more elaborate design inspired by a Rube Goldberg machine, a convoluted apparatus that achieves a simple task in the most complex manner possible. They invested significant time and resources into their idea, but eventually, the project leader, Morihiro Harano, overruled them in favor of the simpler rendition. The pared-down version not only became a massive hit in Japan but also garnered international praise. Choosing to abandon a needlessly complex concept proved to be the key to success. 
It's not just about being bold and willing to make tough choices. Creative minds must also ensure they receive adequate rest and relaxation. The brain doesn't switch off during sleep, on the contrary, it actively organizes memories and constructs dreams. These mental activities are reservoirs of inspiration waiting to be tapped. However, as the conscious mind doesn't instantaneously access these ideas, it's essential to set aside time for relaxation and leisure activities. Famed author Jonah Lehrer cites his own experience as evidence of this phenomenon. He often finds that his best insights occur unexpectedly, during moments of respite, like soaking in the bathtub or playing ping-pong. In the end, creativity truly flourishes when we embrace simplicity and grant ourselves room to unwind. By recognizing the power of letting go and prioritizing relaxation, you'll pave the way for your most brilliant ideas to come forth. Core Values for Creativity Creativity flourishes when we embrace values such as brutal honesty, love, and respect within our work. Instead of prioritizing financial gain, focus on creating impactful and meaningful projects that resonate with audiences through genuine connection and integrity. Creativity is multifaceted and cannot be confined by diplomacy or financial motivations, it thrives in a space where honesty, love, and respect are key ingredients. For instance, when working in a creative profession like marketing or design, you may be asked to promote products or ideas that aren't valuable or worthwhile. While the money might be tempting, it's important to prioritize the use of your creative abilities in meaningful projects instead of simply chasing the bottom line. Being brutally honest with both yourself and your clients may lead you to lose some opportunities in the short term, but in the long run, it'll save you and your talent from being wasted on trivial pursuits. Moreover, working on something fulfilling will put your talents to better use and provide a sense of accomplishment. For your work to truly touch the hearts and minds of your audience, it's essential to infuse love and respect into every aspect of your creations. Humans are instinctively drawn to these values, and our very survival hinges on our ability to trust and cooperate with others. When we perceive genuine love and respect in a piece of work, it speaks to us on a deeper level, creating a lasting emotional connection. When you examine the legacies of creative trailblazers like Steve Jobs, The Rolling Stones, and Steven Spielberg, you notice a common thread, their work is a testament to the love and respect they poured into it, making their creations admired and cherished by many. In conclusion, to make the most of your creative pursuits, don't forget to approach your work with honest intentions, love, and respect. These core values play an indispensable role in creating meaningful content that will stand the test of time and leave a lasting impact on your audience. Unleash creativity by disconnecting. Sometimes, the most creative ideas emerge when we stop actively searching for them. To fully access our creative potential, we need to disengage our prefrontal cortex, the part of the brain governing logical tasks. By embracing randomness and doing nothing, we give our brains the space to generate unconventional ideas and foster innovation, just as Steve Jobs discovered through calligraphy and observing kitchenware. Do you know how Paul McCartney chanced upon the melody for his iconic song, Yesterday? It came to him in a dream. This raises an important question about creativity, should we let go to truly create? Creativity appears to function in line with the Pareto Principle, which posits that 20% of your work contributes to 80% of the results. Consequently, the remaining 80% of your efforts yield just 20% of the outcomes. Interestingly, the prefrontal cortex, often engaged in analytical tasks such as accounting and administration, is not the ideal portion of the brain for creativity. This is mainly because it constantly filters out the irrelevant information that might actually trigger creative thoughts. Letting your mind wander and disconnect from structured thought stirs the creative juices, proving that taking a step back from active problem solving can boost innovation. For example, consider how flying a kite or lying in a hammock can momentarily divert your focus. During these moments, the brain switches off its organizational circuits, opening the door to unexpected connections. Embracing the serendipity of random experiences can nourish your creativity. Steve Jobs' journey illustrates the power of this approach. Having dropped out of college, 
he enrolled in a calligraphy course and spent time observing kitchen equipment in stores. These seemingly unrelated experiences eventually led to the unique typefaces and sleek designs of Apple products. By allowing his mind to wander and embracing the messiness of various experiences, Jobs tapped into his creativity and built an innovative, world-renowned company. So, why not disconnect and let your mind roam free to unlock your creative potential? Unlocking Creative Potential Unleashing your inner creativity may seem difficult, but there are a few proven techniques that can help. Boredom, oddly enough, can stimulate creativity when the brain seeks distraction from monotonous tasks. Likewise, maintaining a workspace with visually interesting items and even a little messiness can also promote creativity due to the unconscious triggering of new ideas. Embracing boredom is a surprisingly effective method to unlock your creative potential. When the mind is understimulated, it naturally seeks distractions which can lead to creative breakthroughs. A study conducted at the University of Central Lancashire demonstrated this concept, wherein participants who were tasked to think about creative solutions while copying a list of numbers ended up devising significantly more innovative ways to tackle the problem. The dull activity of number copying made their brains eager to focus on something else. Another technique for boosting creativity is to maintain a workspace filled with visually interesting items and a degree of untidiness. Posters, magazines, artwork, and other knickknacks allow your mind to wander and possibly inspire new ideas even unconsciously. Research teams at Northwestern University and the New York Times have found that people tend to produce more creative drawings when working in messy environments compared to tidy ones. Famous entrepreneurs like Steve Jobs and Mark Zuckerberg have also been known for their cluttered desks, proving that an immaculate workspace isn't always a prerequisite for innovative thinking. In summary, embracing boredom and allowing a bit of chaos in your workspace can open new doors to creativity and innovation. By giving your mind an escape from the mundane, you'll find fascinating new ideas and solutions waiting to be discovered. Unlock inspiration through walking. Walking, a simple and effective exercise for both body and mind, has long been a source of inspiration for thinkers like Nietzsche and Rousseau. To get the most out of your walks, absorb the sights, sounds, and smells around you, allowing your senses to guide your thoughts. Take a stroll with a purpose, focusing on a specific question or problem, and later share your experiences with others. You may just find the creative solution you've been searching for. Walking isn't just for philosophers like Nietzsche and Rousseau, it's a powerful remedy for anyone feeling stuck or doubtful. The streets, bustling with life and rich in sensory stimulation, can be a fertile source of inspiration. Both thinkers believed that wandering on foot fueled their ideas, and adopting a similar philosophical mindset can help anyone reap the rewards of walking. To truly immerse yourself in the surroundings, notice what's happening around you. Instead of rushing with headphones on and thoughts engulfed in worries, truly observe the world around you. This tradition of using one's environment as inspiration dates back to 19th century French poet Charles Baudelaire and his friends, the flaneurs, who wandered the streets of industrial cities seeking creative stimulation. Aside from inspiration, walking also stimulates the creative thinking process. Renowned Enlightenment philosopher Immanuel Kant found profound insights during his daily strolls around his Prussian hometown. So how can you maximize your walking experience? Start by stepping out and immersing yourself in your senses. Pay attention to what you see, hear, and smell. Once you've honed your observational skills, walk with a specific purpose, such as finding an answer to a nagging question or generating a new idea. For example, while seeking a fresh concept for a marketing campaign, allow your senses to guide you and spark your imagination. Finally, share your insights and experiences with someone else. Discuss the sights, sounds, and snippets of conversations you encountered during your walk. Sometimes, even the smallest details can lead you to the creative solution you've been longing for. Age and Wisdom Redefined The notion that wisdom comes with age may not hold true in our fast-paced, technologically driven world. The importance of knowledge, previously considered valuable, 
is diminishing as most information is readily available through the internet and virtual assistants. More emphasis is now placed on our ability to learn new skills quickly. Research from the University of Oxford and Columbia University supports the idea that young people, more adept at adapting to change and acquiring new skills, possess a distinct advantage in this rapidly evolving environment. As technologies continue to advance at an unprecedented pace, the proverbial relationship between age and wisdom becomes less relevant, with adaptability and eagerness to learn becoming the new markers of wisdom. Debunking the originality myth Obsessing over the concept of creative originality can hinder your true potential since originality is a myth. In reality, creativity stems from a social and cultural process, adding your own twist to existing ideas or combining them in new ways. Discovering great ideas comes from unleashing your instincts, creating the right environment, and taking inspiration from the world around you. Dispelling the belief in the myth of absolute creative originality is crucial for unlocking your true potential. The widely held notion that everything one does must be entirely original can turn into a significant barrier. What exactly constitutes originality? It's the mistaken belief that creative individuals are capable of generating unprecedented, obscure ideas, essentially, creating something from nothing. However, this expectation is impractical and unrealistic. Humans are not divine beings possessing the power to materialize ideas from a void. Instead, creativity is intricately linked to social and cultural processes. When a person creates, they draw from and are inspired by the world they inhabit. In essence, being creative means putting your personal spin on existing ideas or concepts. Adam Morgan, an advertiser, shared an insightful anecdote during an interview with Milk magazine. According to him, the cheeseburger was invented by ad agency J. Walter Thompson to market Kraft cheese slices in the 1930s. Whether this story is factual or not, it demonstrates how creativity functions in real-life scenarios, simply merging two elements in a novel manner. Investigating the history of inventions reveals numerous innovative breakthroughs resulting from similar approaches. One such example involves George de Mestrel's invention of Velcro. After a walk through nature, de Mestrel observed the cocklebur, a plant with stiff, hooked spines that attach to fur and clothing. Inspired by the plant's mechanism, he developed Velcro by applying the same principle to shoes. The takeaway is that creativity revolves around relying on your instincts and cultivating an environment where inspiration can flourish. Experiment with your workspace, take walks, or immerse yourself in your surroundings, and you may find that extraordinary ideas flourish when you least anticipate them. As we wrap up the summary of eCreative superpowers, you'll have discovered that the true power of creativity lies in original thinking spawned from everyday experiences, social connections, and a willingness to adapt. Don't feel overwhelmed by the pressure to create something groundbreaking, instead, focus on combining existing ideas in new ways and trust your instincts. Practice the sandbox model to benefit from a cooperative mindset. Learn from external experiences and the ever-changing world around us, and remember that sometimes, doing the nothing, can lead to the most profound creative inspirations. So go ahead, create a mess, take a stroll, and let the creativity flow through you.